Are you making your business too complicated? Are you overcomplicating your business systems as a working mom? Could simplifying your strategy be the key to gaining more time, energy, results, and freedom, but without burning out? Hi, my name is Sandy Glant. I'm a high performance productivity coach, best selling author, mama to two very busy boys, wife, and TV host. And today we're going to be diving in and talking about some practical tips, solutions, and strategies to simplify our business operations. Now, if you don't have any really systems in place right now, or if you don't have something that's helping you to simplify the process, this is going to be a game changer episode for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like this, and also get ready to take notes because we are diving in and we are going to simplify this process for you. Let's dive in. All right, let's talk about five very practical ways to simplify your business operations. Number one is focusing on simplifying the process. Okay, so what does that mean? Streamlining your client onboarding process. So many people, they just kind of jump into business. They don't have systems to simplify and they just end up burning out. So I'm going to give you a couple examples that are going going to allow you to start to simplify the process. One of them, just like I mentioned, is what is your onboarding process look like? What are you using to simplify this so you have a set system in place that's going to allow you to get in, get the information that you need, and be able to Just take whatever that client is or team member and not have to start from scratch, not having to start a conversation, not knowing anything about your new prospective clients or a new team member. Simplifying this process is such a game changer. Another example is using simple content calendar to um, use for not just your content, but for your marketing plan, instead of reinventing your strategy every single week. I want you to start to think about these repetitive tasks that you have. And no matter what it is, I promise you there is an easier way to simplify the process. Now, another great way to simplify the process is to consolidate communication by using one platform. Again, this could be with your team. This could be with your clients, something like Slack versus email. Email can go back and forth for days, right? Slack is a communication channel where you can talk to the team or talk to your clients and nothing is going to get lost. You can see timestamps. You can see exactly when you said something or where you said something rather than juggling multiple apps, texts, DMs, emails, and you have it all over the place. So the first and the number one thing that you're doing that's probably overcomplicating your life, your business, your home is just to declutter and start to focus on simplifying your processes. And again, I would start here. I would start doing an audit of what you're doing on a daily and weekly basis. Because those things like emails, onboarding, team communication, client communication, um, content, there needs to be a very clear streamlined process. So look at what you're doing and start to simplify this process. Also, if you don't know where to start with this, I would love to show you exactly how to simplify the process, all of the processes that you have in your business inside the High Performance Academy. Now, in this academy, every single week we meet and we dive into not only the strategy, but the implementation of exactly how to do it. You are not alone. You're with myself. You're with systems experts. And you are with other women that are high performance women that are looking to grow, scale their business businesses, but also business owners and moms and wives and fueling into self-care. So they really are high performers in every area, but they're working smarter, not harder by simplifying the process. So if you want to get started and you want me to show you exactly how to start simplifying the process with systems and automations, check out the website, sandraglant.com forward slash academy to start the academy right now. Jump in and join us on our next call.
The second way that you are overcomplicating your business systems is that you are not prioritizing what moves the needle forward, okay? I really want you to focus on identifying what those needle moving activities are because if you don't know what they are, it's going to be so hard to grow the business, to be strategic about the business, and to really just make sure that you have a consistent schedule of what works for you every single day. So an example of this would be focusing on those income generating activities. Again, if you don't know what they are, I would suggest you head over to it's sandraglant.com forward slash big money to identify what your big money moves are. This is a completely free training. There's workbooks and a download here that you can help, that will help you identify what your big money moves are. So definitely check that out, sandraglant.com forward slash big money. And again, focus on those income producing activities activities, sales calls, client outreach. Maybe for you, it's product creation. Whatever it is for you, you need to identify it rather than spending hours on minor things that aren't moving the ball forward. I remember in the beginning of my business, I would spend so much time on making sure my fonts and my colors and logos and like slides for presentations looked a certain way, what I thought was perfect. But now I have someone on my team that does these. I I write up the information. I put it in a Google doc. I send it over to a team member and they make it look beautiful. And for me, it's done. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it's getting done and I don't have to do it. That's one of those things that I delegate in my business. But I focus on and I prioritize what moves the needle forward. So what is that for you? Another thing that I want to mention is limit your social media scroll because this is sucking away so much of your time and it's kind of putting you in a trap, right? If you know you have to focus on the needle moving activities, but you're showing up on social media platforms where you're scrolling, where you're, you know, you show up on social media to maybe make a post and create something, but then you go on that platform and you get sucked down a rabbit hole of content we are there for the wrong reason. So prioritize what moves the needle forward, invest time in learning these skills if you don't know how to do it. And this is really going to help you grow your business, scale your business, and also be in an environment where you can identify what moves that needle forward. Be in a place where you can get the right information so you are able to continuously grow the business and have that free time that we all crave to be with our families or have self-care time. Because those are the things, the needle moving activities are going to be, if you've ever heard of the 80-20 rule, Pareto principle, it talks about 20% of all of the the money that's being generated, um, you know, the the big income that's coming in, those needle moving activities. Um, that 20% is based off, or I should say that 80% of what the payoff is, is coming from 20% of our activity, right? So it's not a lot, but it's the right thing. It's focusing in on the right things. So what is your 80-20 rule, right? What is giving you the most bang for your buck? And you got to figure out what's what are those needle movers and what do you need to prioritize in order to see those results? So that is my uh, little challenge for you is to figure out what that is. Head over to the big money moves, download, watch the video, watch the training and figure out what your big money moves are. All right. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel every single week. I am bringing new content, interviews, systems, strategy, support to help you simplify your business and take back your time. I'm a working mom just like you, and I want to be able to spend time with my kids, time with my husband, time for myself to be able to be in my business, get done what I need to get done, but also show up in all the areas that mean the most to me. And if you're here, you also are probably someone that resonates with that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're a new subscriber, every single week I am giving away free content and free giveaways that you get to join in on just for subscribing to the channel. So hit the subscribe button, comment below that you subscribed, and my team or I will reach out to you and you will win a prize. 
We have so many amazing prizes and all you have to do is subscribe. So hit that subscribe button, comment below, let me know that you subscribe and we'll reach out to you to let you know what you've won. The third tip that I know you are just going to love to help you stop overcomplicating all of your business systems as a working mom is to create repeatable systems, okay? Anything that you do more than once, and my academy girls know that I say this all the time, anything that you do more than once should have a system, should have a repeatable system that you have in place to protect your time, okay? So let me give you a couple examples. Develop a step-by-step -step workflow. We also call these SOPs. We just did a training on this inside the academy for content creation, for emails, for um, posting on your social media, for your content, okay? So all of these things are going to help you because you're never going to miss a step. And by the way, it might not be you. Hopefully it's a team member or somebody that you've brought on that can help you with this, with these things. Okay. So that step-by-step -step process, that SOP is now going to support you in all these different areas that you want to be showing up, uh, podcasting, YouTube, emails, blogs, uh, working with team members, working with clients, right? you make sure that this is a repeatable system, that you have a workflow in place. Same thing for templates, right? Same thing for proposals or email replies or client updates. This helps to avoid the repetitive work and respond faster to get back your time. So the more SOPs you have, standard operating procedures, or simply put just a very well-developed step-by-step workflow for each one of these outputs, okay? This is going to help you with that repetitiveness that you have in your business so you don't have to do this manually. And then the other thing that I want to share with you is to set specific days of the week for tasks like the miscellaneous things, billings or certain meetings that you have, content creation. I have this built into my week. So my Fridays are what I call my freedom Fridays, event days, content days, VIP days, or maybe even just a family day, right? Like spending time with my family. But I also have these things built out. So I have specific days for the week for certain things in my business, both for my team and myself. So stop wasting time just switching gears, going from task to task, content to creation, to working with clients, to product review, to team reviews. Like it's too much. And you're just wasting so much precious time and mental space, right? So what I really want you to focus on here is creating repeatable systems that allow you to gain back your time and free up the space to focus on the areas, the days and the times, again, that are going to move the ball forward, but also free up so much more time for you and your team. Number four. Oh, this is a good one. Are you ready? If you're ready, comment below. I'm ready. I want to see that you're watching and you're here with me. All right. Number four to stop overcomplicating your business system is to leverage technology for automation. Yes, we talk about automations a lot, and that's because they are so extremely helpful. Now, I want to give you a couple examples of how I use automation. My team uses automations. So something very simple like a Calendly. It is a scheduler. scheduler. It's a scheduler for you that automatically schedules your appointments, your meetings. So whether that be with clients, podcast guests, people interviewing you on their podcast, right? It helps to set meetings without the back and forth emails. A lot of times you can just send your Calendly link to someone and you already have set the days and times that you're available. And you're just saying, hey, pick a time that's open on the calendar. It saves so much time. And by the way, I also do this when I interview my podcast guests. I have certain days and times that are open just for podcasting, just for my one-on-one -on -one clients, just for new prospective clients. So they can go in and they can see exactly what time is available in the slots that I have open without the back and forth. So this technology is amazing. If you're not already using it, I would highly recommend. Also, automate your email marketing with platforms Again, there's so many different CRMs out there. We use ConvertKit. I'll drop that link below so you can check it out. Um, 
pre-scheduling newsletters or pre-scheduling any promo campaigns is something that can really help you save so much time. If you know that you and the team have these things coming up, because hopefully you plan them out ahead of time, like I show you. (laughs) So when you do these things, you know that your promo calendar knows about a launch or knows about um, a special campaign or knows about content that needs to go out or a podcast that needs to go out. Like all of these things should be already in an automation. So it's really, really important that these things are automated for you and you know what's coming up. You meet with the team or you yourself know what's on the calendar so you can have these automated. And then finally, using a project management tools like Asana or Trello, you can track tasks and deadlines so nothing falls through the cracks. And again, it's just really important that the more automation that you have, the more tools and systems, these are all to make your life easier. And if you don't know where to start with automation, because this was me in the beginning of my journey as an entrepreneur, I have a free training for you. That is my automation training. You can head over to sandragland.com forward slash automate, and you can see all the different tools and strategies that we use to automate completely free. You can just go check it out at that website, sandragland.com forward slash automate. The fifth way and the fifth tool or strategy, I should say, that is going to help you stop overcomplicating your business systems and at home, so both home and business, is to delegate and outsource strategically. You know I talk about this all the time, but it's because it's so important. And it's because if I didn't delegate and if I didn't outsource and automate, my business, I would be in it 24-7. And so would you. And the fact of the matter is, is the more we're delegating, the more it frees up our time to focus on the needle moving activities, the more that we can outsource, we can take that and leverage our time to hand it over to someone who might and probably and should be better than us at doing these things. So we actually get to buy back our time. So I want you to start to think about how you can delegate, how you can outsource, because this will be a game changer for you and your business. I know it's so scary at first. I know outsourcing and delegating, if you've never done it before, can be very scary because you think you're the only one that can do it. I promise you you're not. Um, But I want to give you a couple examples because I think that this will help you to get the ball rolling and to get started when it comes to delegating and outsourcing. So the first thing that I would say is hire a virtual assistant. You can do this for the smallest tasks that you have up to whatever you feel comfortable doing, okay? Customer support, social media, posting, email, kind of like inbox management so they can sort through all the things that you don't need to see. There are so many things that we do as business owners. I don't care if it takes up two minutes of my time. That is two minutes less that I'm not with my kids. That is two minutes less that I'm not spending taking care of myself or working out or getting my nails done or being with my husband, right? Like, Time is so precious, and when you start to understand how valuable your time is, you will start to take this seriously. So another example, outsourcing graphic design, outsource bookkeeping. I know numbers, like I'm an entrepreneur. If you're watching this, you probably are too. Bookkeeping is never fun. It's just like not sexy, right? So like someone that does, that is their job, that is their role to support you there, let them have fun with it, right? Outsource that. Any kind of website management or logo design, all of these things, all of these jobs, you want to start outsourcing and let that go so you can focus on things like that you need to do, making phone calls, making those sales calls, doing what's going to move the ball forward in your business so you can generate more income, so you can hire out the team members to help that are going to support you. Another example, now this is going to be in the home, is to delegate household tasks. Very simple ones that I'll use as examples, cleaning services, grocery shopping, meal prepping, meal delivery, all of these things. We even do our dry cleaning. These are all things that free up my time, especially as a working mom, because it's very, very hard to make sure 
And if you're with me, give me an amen. Just drop it below. It's very hard to run the business, get the kids off to school, pick the kids up from school, do the homework, make the sales calls, uh, make the dinner, uh, make sure the kids are getting off to soccer practice or ballet practice, whatever your kids are doing in the afternoon, clean up from dinner, get home, prep the next day. Like it is a lot of work, right? So like the more you have that you can delegate, outsource, automate. We are just buying back all of that time. So I highly, highly encourage you that if you're struggling with this, if you feel like you are in the weeds and you're just like falling short in business and at home and taking care of yourself, it's probably because you don't have systems in place. It's probably because you're not delegating and you're not outsourcing and you're not uh, automating. So I would love to show you how to do this. We do this in the High Performance Academy every single week. I teach the ladies all the different systems. And there's the thing is, is that there's so many different systems. One call is never enough. So what we do is we have one call and then we have an implementation call. And also that month we have a call to make sure all the questions and the setup is answered. So moving forward every single month, the ladies are progressing, they're building their businesses, they're creating these systems and they're succeeding. So they get to slay their day. So I hope that this information is helping you. I hope that you implement it. And I also hope that if you don't know how to do this on your own, it's okay. Get into an academy or get into a coaching program like the High Performance Academy or working with me one-on-one where I can help you with this, where I can show you how to do this. You don't have to go at it alone because it can be daunting. It can be very scary. And it also just can be very overwhelming when you don't know how to do it. So let me help you with this. This is why there's expertise in different areas that you get to tap in and really build off of their information and what works. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm just going to recap these five because they are that important. And I want you to figure out where you need to focus on right now. So are you overcomplicating your business systems? Number one, I want you to look at focus on simplifying your processes. Number two, prioritize what moves the needle forward. Number three, create repeatable systems. Number four, leverage technology for automation. And number five, delegate and outsource strategically. If you need help with any of these, you can reach out to me, Sandra at sandragland.com. Let me know what you're struggling with. I would love to help you or plug into our academy, sandragland.com forward slash academy. I can't wait to see you on the next one. As always, make sure you go out and slay your day.